see this recording. So, oh, ah, uh, let me get another hand. Okay, so I'm aero towing today. There's the aircraft straight ahead. He's got a cable that comes over to me, and. Um, I don't know if you can see that, I've just passed 200 feet coming up, uh, sorry, 2,000 feet, 2,100 there. And over the nose, I don't know if you can see, we're just flying over Bruntingthorpe. It's probably about a mile away now. The airfield is behind me, the gliding field that is. I'm just going to turn with the tug. There's Bruntingthorpe. That's where they do Top Gear. You'll be able to see the 747 down there and a number of other aircraft. I've just got to put the camera away for a moment. I hold it in my mouth. Very calm up here today. are becoming numb from holding this so long. Let's have a look here. Let's slow down a bit. Okay, so it's pretty nice. I actually don't know what junction that is. I'm guessing it's the M1 or A14, probably the M1 actually. Or yeah, M1 and the town there. I'll have to have a look on the map when I get that. We'll just turn bank to the right here a bit. And then you'll see Bruntingthorpe to the left. Just open the window, you might get a clearer view. You'll see maybe, I'm hoping, the uh, 747 down there in the middle of the picture. And then they've also got a, a museum down there, an aviation museum, but that's where they film Top Gear when they do their race around the test track. That's the track they use. You'll see the cars bombing around there. You 
In fact, you, I can see, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there are some uh, cars bombing around there now. Oh, they use it every day. Look out the right side. We got what's called Sten Gun Lake. I personally feel it looks like a high heel. But uh, that's me, there's a golf centre down there. Now, I'm going to try and find Welford, which is over this way. Straighten up there. Okay, there's the airfield, that's a good sign. It means I can see it. In fact, it's probably a better shot. Sorry for the noise, but that's where the uh, airfield is. You can see it in the middle of the picture, hopefully. I am also looking out the whole time for any other traffic. Now there's Husbands Bosworth, further up. Unfortunately today, <laughs> I left without a battery, so um, I've got no turn and slip indicator, not that I'd need that anyway, because I've got my trusty piece of cotton wool. thing I'd need it for is my uh, um, oh Vario, electric Vario, which I'm not using because as far as I've been told there's nothing up here so I'm not really too fast. I've had an air rotor to 4,000 feet. I've lost a bit of height already probably because I was mucking around a bit trying to play with the camera and get the speed but everything's settled down now. I'm doing just above 14 knots. Very, it's very calm up here. Hopefully the camera is working. What you can see up there. If you see the aircraft walk by itself, if you trim it correctly. I'll just show you. It's wanting to bank slightly to the left. Could be a whole number of reasons, really. If I just tip it to the right now, it'll want to the bank to the right. And there it goes. I'm just going to lower the nose a bit just to pick up some speed. We're over Sten Gun Lake there, that's the reservoir. That's the A14 in the distance. Which means that road we were looking back at there, this now, was the M1. And uh, there's Welford to the left of us. I really hope this thing's taping. In fact, I'm just going to stop the tape there and then restart it, just in case. 